Hi, I'm going to read Princess for a Day by Mary Ann Coco Leffler. What would you do if you were a princess for a day? Last week, Jessie went to the moon in her spaceship. Yesterday, Jessie climbed a mountain and she camped in the woods. Today, she is a princess. She has a crown to prove it. And tomorrow, there will be a royal ball. She makes invitations. Come to a royal ball. It will be at 9.30 in the morning. Wear your best gown. She gives the invitations to all her loyal subjects. Later, Princess Jessica gets the royal garden ready for the ball. Then she finds a ball gown. She puts gold bows on her shoes. The next morning, Princess Jessica comes downstairs. She has on all the royal jewels. Jessie, why are you wearing a curtain? Asks her sister, Kelly. My dear sister, I am Princess Jessica, and this is my ball gown, says Princess Jessica. Kelly rolls her eyes. Queen Mother, says Princess Jessica. What will we have to eat at the royal ball? Will milk and muffins do? Mom asks. Princess Jessica nods. The royal ball must end at 12 o'clock, says Mom. Uncle Steve is taking you out to lunch. Soon, the royal ball begins. All the royal subjects wear their best gowns. They sip milk from pretty teacups. They dance and sing. They even ride the royal horse. At noon, Princess Jessica waves goodbye to everyone. Princess Jessica runs into the house. It was the best ball ever. Just then, Uncle Steve arrives. I found this on the front steps, he says. I think it belongs to Princess Jessica, says Mom. So this is Princess Jessica, says Uncle Steve. Well, let's see if the shoe fits. It fits, it fits, sounds shouts Princess Jessica. My prince has come. Uncle Steve bows. Now we will go for a royal pizza, he says. Princess Jessica takes his hand. Jessie, you can't go out like that, Kelly calls after her. not, says mom. You forgot your crown. The end.